Hi, this is Noel Serrano with the Gala Lighthouse. Just give me Jesus. We spend our lives chasing many things in this world. Money, careers, our families and friends, our hobbies and interests, and so much more. None of these things are necessarily bad. But how much do they mean to us? As Christians, the number one priority in life is reserved for Jesus, and that should never change. This can be a challenge because it's so easy for idols to creep into our life. Even the things we think are harmless have the ability to steal us away from living lives for Jesus. For example, if you really love playing golf, but your local golf club only played tournaments on Sundays, you have a choice. Put golf first and choose not to attend church, or you could choose to go to church, sacrificing your love for golf. It's so many different circumstances. We have the option to choose between Jesus and the world. We can spend our whole lives building up treasures here on earth, but really they mean nothing in light of eternity. If we belong to God, we have to live in light of eternity, not the here and now. We have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and the goal that awaits us at the present end of the race. Matthew 19, 21 says, Do not store up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasure in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And what point is there in gaining the whole world just to lose your soul? Are you prepared to give up your worldly treasures for Jesus? Matthew 16, 25, 26. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? It is said often that being a Christian isn't easy, and it's true. A relationship with God means sacrifice. A relationship with God means sacrifice and submitting to Him, even when we don't want to. Becoming a Christian means giving our lives to God, not just the parts we want to. Even if we did gain the whole world, we still wouldn't be satisfied. Even the wealthiest of people get to points in their lives where they feel like something is missing. Jesus is the one who is able to fill the void we all feel. When we know Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we have all we will ever need. He is the source of love, hope, joy, and peace, and the incredible gift of eternity with Him because of His grace. We will keep on wanting when we search for satisfaction in the world. Why? Because it doesn't belong there. Because we don't belong here. It is only found in Jesus. There is no second option. We either live our life for Jesus or we don't. It is a choice of choosing the world or Jesus. What is worth more to you? And just give me Jesus. You are life. You are hope. Just give me Jesus. You are love. 
You are all that I want. There's nothing I desire that can't be found in you. You're everything that I've ever needed. Just give me Jesus. Just give me Jesus. There's nothing I desire that can't be found in you. Everything that I've ever needed. Just give me Jesus. Can you say with confidence, take this world and give me Jesus? Are you still trying to hold on to the things of the world and find hope in them? Look to Jesus, the only one who can fill us and give us what we need. He is everything we need and all we will ever need. When we experience the joy of knowing Christ, nothing else can come close to rivaling that. We can live like we are loved because we are loved so dearly by a God who gave everything to save us. Lord, we pray that you would be our own desire. Give us the boldness to say, take this world and give me Jesus. We know that you satisfy and are all we will ever need. Help us to find all our hope in you and look no further. May we not give up our souls to gain the whole world, but rather chase after you. We thank you for the hope, peace, and satisfaction we can find only in you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This is Noel Serrano with the Gala Lighthouse, and the following has been a presentation of the Gala Foundation.